make a bat and ball game. So the first thing we'll need to do is change the sprite. So I want to delete the cat that is here. I'm going to click the scissors and click down here on this cat. Oh, that didn't take, did it? Okay, there we go. Delete. And then I'm going to make a new sprite by painting. So paint new sprite. And uh, I want this to be the bat. And I'm going to start out with the rectangle, solid rectangle, I believe. I'm going to choose the one to the right down at the bottom so I know that I get a solid. And I want my bat to be red. Uh, I'm going to draw it about like that. It doesn't have to be too thick. The next thing I want to do is set the center of the rectangle and I'm going to do that by clicking on the top right uh, center tool and then clicking it on my sprite to make sure it's where I want and it is. Um, I can change this title here but that's just the name for this particular costume. A sprite can have more than one costume. To actually change the title for the sprite, I'm going to need to click right here, and this is where I'll type bat. I'll just type the same title again. So now I have one sprite called bat. And I'm going to come off this and into the scripts area. I want to move the bat up and down and uh, I'll pull it over here so I want it on the right hand side and so and I want it to move with the up and down arrow uh, I start out with the events and when key press right this has when space key press but that's easy to change and then in motion you're going to choose change y by change y by 10, uh, and uh, for right now I'm not going to change that. I want to have it go up and down, so I'm going to need to duplicate this. I can do that easily with the stamp tool, and I just stamp on it once. It draws off the duplicate. So this is not going to be space anymore. It's going to be up arrow, and I want it to move up by 30. The larger that number, the faster it will move. The lower the number, the slower. And then down, I want this to move the opposite direction, so I'm just going to put minus 30. So whatever number you have in the up arrow here, you need a minus in front of it here. So that pretty much does the bat, and then when I move it, that's what it will look like. Okay, the second sprite I'm going to draw is the ball. So I click here on the paintbrush, and this already comes with that nice center displayed. And I'm going to choose my ball here. I want it to be solid. I'm going to change the color, however. And uh, just draw the ball in the middle. Now, a little tip on drawing circular objects. If you press down Shift, they become a perfect circle. So just start to draw, then press down Shift. And don't let it up until you finish drawing. And again, I'm going to align the center to the middle of the sprite. I'll call it ball here, uh, but more importantly I'm going to name it ball here. And now I want to come into the script for the ball. So I want the ball to move back and forth. And so the first um, first object I'm going to draw over the first block is simply going to be a forever block and a move. Move 10 step. Uh, and then I also will need to put if on edge bounce. So, uh, in fact, let me put that underneath. So if I start it now, it should play. So now the ball moves back and forth. And I can move the bat with the arrow keys. So the next thing I want to do is have the ball respond to the bat. And I'm going to do that with an if statement. If 
because it's a condition if the ball is touching the bat. So here's my touching under the sensing blocks and bat. I want it to go the opposite direction. A way to do that in Scratch is to turn it 180 degrees. And uh, we're going to drag that into place. Okay, now I'm going to start this, and now it's responding to the bat. And if I move the bat up out of the way, okay, there we go. Okay, so that works. Now I want to, well, let's see how it works. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and put the green flag on there. Just, it's an easier way to start it up. So when, now it will just go back and forth forever. And that's not very much fun to play. You don't have to move the bat to win this game. So I'm going to introduce that with a uh, statement that will add a little uh, variation right here. Uh, I run it, I'm going to go into the operators and I'm going to put a random in here and use this plus. I want it to have, I want it to turn 180 plus. Okay, so that will vary that number enough. So now when I play my game, you'll see that it doesn't go straight anymore. Uh, it varies just a little bit eventually. Because the bat and ball are so big, it takes a little bit longer. But eventually it comes up. The last uh, thing that I'm going to do here is to add a sound. And when it touches, when the ball touches the bat, I want it to make a little pop sound. So I'm first going to go to Sounds, and I want to import a sound from the library. They're arranged alphabetically, so this one is going to be right here. Pop. I should be able to see what it sounds like. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Choose it, press OK. And now uh, it's under my sounds. I have meow in there because that's built in, and now pop. I'm going to come here to script and uh, scripts. I want to go to the sound blocks and pop is showing up. So if it's touching the bat, I want it to play that sound and I want it to. Okay, so. Ah. It's not playing the sound. Why is that? Ah. Played the sound when it wasn't. Uh, if it's touching bat, huh? Yeah, I think that's right. Very sensitive. <laughs> okay, it's actually playing a little bit before. Very interesting. Okay, so that's the game. Uh, try it out. You might try some variations on yours. Uh, uh, you can make the bat move a little bit faster if you want. Try increasing those numbers, decreasing those numbers. You could put a scorekeeper and a timer on this game if you wanted to. Okay, have fun with this. Good luck.